Hey guys, I am Davey and I'm here with my friend Dwayne Wells. Bonjour. Bonjour, you took me to France. We're in France and I'm still not really sure why. <laughs> well really, there's one quite simple thing. What's that? Les hommes. Is that like Gucci Prada, les hommes? It means men. So here's the thing, I know exactly where this is going because Dwayne has already tried to fix me up with a cowboy boyfriend. My mom, by the way, tried to find me a husband in New Orleans and it's like, why is everybody in my life trying to get rid of me? But why France? Because France is the apex of romance. We're taking things back a step. Back before all of the sex. This is where you learn the fundamentals of falling in love. We're gonna open your mind and... And my legs. <laughs> so here's what's gonna happen. We're going to visit three cities across France. And in each of those cities, you are going to practice being more romantic by going on a date with one guy from Hornet in each city. I'm actually really excited about this because Hornet is the number one gay social networking app in France and there are lots and lots and lots of really sexy guys. On Hornet, you can really have like refreshing conversations that don't seem to happen in other places. For example, if there's a guy that you like, you can follow him and you can see pictures that he posts and, and updates that he gives. The thing is like I've actually managed to meet some really great people that I actually relate and connect with. So make sure you click down below to download the free app. So Queen, what's the first stop? The first stop is Cannes. Do you promise it's not going to be fancy? Well... The thing that you need to know about Dwayne is that she is a fancy girl. She is very fancy. I love glamour. I love sophistication. I love royalty. I love shiny, sparkly things. So what better place than France for Davy to find his most opulent self. I just want Davy to not be so basic. Girl, I can hear you. I hope you can. So today, I'm gonna take you to some of the places that are fundamental to life on the Riviera. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Lunch is extraordinary. Girl, let's dig into that bread. Now remember what I told you about how to eat the bread right. <laughs> Break off a piece. Girl, it's bite size. Wait a minute. They do it, it like that this. That is not a bite size. I think we classed up the joint a bit. Oh, come on. That is so ghetto. <laughs> Why can't I take you anywhere? That is so ghetto. <laughs> Was I wearing a t-shirt? I had a polo shirt You on. wore a polo shirt. Yeah, yeah. For the love of God. Yeah. Doesn't this place just seem like me? This is where I was meant to be. This like, is where you this belong. Is, this is where the heaven. In fact, we're just gonna leave you here. So Dwayne arranged for us to go on a private little boat tour. Which was fabulous. Dwayne, where are you taking me? What are we doing? We're going to Estero Island. Girl, are we gonna go through this thing? I think we might. Oh my God, hold your breath. That was splendor. That was God's country. We're staying at Le Grand Hotel Cannes. Okay, are you ready to see a room with a view? Check it out. I can't even tell you all the names that we're next to. Fendi, Gucci, Boucheron. And this hotel is a member of small luxury hotels of the world. And there's also a very special Michelin starred restaurant called Park 45, where we will be having dinner. I can't believe that you made me wear a shirt with buttons. This is gorgeous. So you're going on your first date in France tonight, and I have one piece of advice for you. What's that? Just do not talk about <laughs> Well, I'm serious. <laughs> Just trying to help you out here. Now it is time for me to go out on my Hornet date, and I found a guy who is sexy and sweet, but he's also sexy, and best of all, He's sexy. Okay, so I'm here with Alex. I have a really important question to ask you. In France, is there a lot of foreskin? Plus what? I gave him one rule. Not two. And that rule was to not talk about penises on his first date. French guys are really good at kissing, right? They named a kiss, <laughs> like, after your people. Have you had a really good kiss before? Ah, uh, yes. It was cool. The moment. The moment. Yeah, not only the kiss. Was the moment that you were in a beautiful hotel room, ordering room service with a mysterious, mysterious American, American. <laughs> and he leaned in just like this to give a little kiss and then... I... 
I guess my battery must have died. I, I don't know. <laughs> Now we are off to Provence. <laughs> J'adore France. I love France. That's what I just did. No, I was <laughs> translating. Oh, you were, oh, okay. <laughs> All right, so we are coming up on the house. Yeah, the thing we're very close. I've heard that before. Probably all too often. <laughs> I don't see anything except trees and wood. Oh. Are you sure this is the right oh, place? Oh my God, here it is. Look. <laughs> This is definitely haunted. Is it inhabited? Well, I don't think you can get more rustic than this. <laughs> so, we've just arrived at our farmhouse and now we're headed into town. I feel like I'm in Beauty and the Beast that people are gonna like pop out the window and be like, bonjour, 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 bonjour. I love that Beauty and the Beast is your reference for France. <laughs> in a lot of cultures, there's really this interwoven relationship between sex and food because it's like the fulfillment of our two most basic needs. So obviously we couldn't go to Provence without experiencing the food and Dwayne wanted me to pick a good date activity to kind of practice what I've learned so far. So I've got a little surprise for him. Well, the last time David surprised me, we were shoveling cow manure. So the bar is not set exactly high. So girl, we are going to learn how to make cheese or we might hit that tree. <laughs> well, these dogs look a little vicious. I don't know if I'm as excited about this idea as you are. <laughs> Just the ah, bugs. <laughs> Just as I suspected, Davies found a goat farm, and now he expects me to milk a goat. Look at this like little one. You don't want to pet that little one? No. Nope. I didn't even know you could milk a goat, but apparently. Girl. Of course you can milk a goat, they have tits. You can milk anything with a tit. I don't know that. This is like when they say the boarding group one. I'm going to show baby how to elegantly milk this goat. For as much as I'm slightly horrified by this idea, I it's also I'm also proud of Davy. Ladies and gentlemen, this <laughs> is happiness. Because I think it shows a bit of growth. It shows that he understands how to plan a romantic afternoon. And now it is time for me to go on my Hornet date. And I am gonna be like poised, I am going to be elegant. All right, so we have some breaking news from the bathroom. I am on my date right now and I had too much cheese today. <laughs> <laughs> I had too much cheese. Let's <laughs> just say it is a bad day to bottom. All right, so we are on our way to Paris, and I thought that we could get some good French cuisine. You get yours? Voila. <laughs> In Paris, we are staying at a Mr. B and B property. The concept is pretty amazing. It's kind of like home sharing, except it is with gay people. Paris is the most romantic city in the world, and if you want to learn about romance, you start right here. Now, I'm curious to see what activity Davy has planned in the most romantic city in the world. So this is our last stop. I'm embodying and practicing all of the things that you have taught me. And really? Today, yes. Because I don't feel like you've embodied <laughs> and, and practiced anything that I've taught you so far. <laughs> well, today I'm taking you somewhere very special. We are going to the Louvre. Oh, 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 She's speechless. I am so proud of you. We are going to the Louvre, which is one of the most amazing museums in the entire world. Technically, we're not going to the Louvre. Uh, when, when you we're, mean, <laughs> we're not going to the Louvre. We're going to the bushes outside. That, is this some? Sort of, that was the tease. There's this like section of the gardens that it's like one of the oldest cruising places in the entire world. Oh, for the love of God! Am I wasting my time here? After all the things that I've shown, Davy. Is this really what we're gonna do? We're, we're gonna go to the bushes? You are not gonna find the man of your dreams jiggling around in some bush <laughs> outside the Louvre. Uh, girl, I'll get you a crepe. All right, I'll go. So we are gonna film our experience going to the Louvre for the cruising grounds as a separate little video on my second channel. I'll put a link down below for you guys to check it out. And for the record, I'm still waiting for my crepe.
Because Hornet is the number one app in France, I mean, finding a guy on Hornet in Paris is like, it is easier than Yo Mama. Hornet is kind of a different cup of tea because there's all these different features, like there's the stories and like you can follow people that you're interested in. It's much more of a social place where you can have real good conversations. And what's funny is I actually bumped into one of my friends who lives in the UK, but he happens to be in Paris for work. So tonight we are gonna hang out together. So I'm here with my friend Brandon. You've been here in Paris for what? How many months? Four months. Four months. What's your experience been? I think French guys are really nice and especially being in Paris, the, the city of love and everything. Um, what was that? The city of love? The city of love. Well, that's what it's called, right? The city is basically a stereotype of itself. Like, you walk along the street and like someone's making crepes and someone has a beret on and they're eating baguettes and there's good cheese, so. I can't say I've tried it. No wonder you're single. Oh, that's rude. <laughs> Well, girl, that's our trip. Did we learn anything? <laughs> Did, well, I wasn't here to learn things. Did you learn anything? <laughs> well, I will say that the stuff that you had me do is not stuff that I would typically do, obviously. Right. This is a formula. All of this, this opulence, this romance, that really works for you. It's just, this is a big planet. We all want different things. And and your cup of tea is just, is just not my own. You're maybe, you know, up here, but I like playing in the mud. I'm just a little oink oink You're piglet. You're just like a little piglet. <laughs> yeah, just like a little piglet in the mud. So I appreciate you trying to infuse some of your opulence into my life. Well, but... you know what? And I appreciate you being open to experiencing it for once. Well, if, for... There's, if there's one thing that I am, it is open. <laughs> You see? Also, I'm gonna put a link down below so that you can check out an article that Dwayne is writing, has written about, uh, I guess, our experience here. Yes. I'll also put a link to Hornet down below. A big thank you to them for yes. hooking us up here. Uh, thank you to Mr. b and Thank you to IGLTA. And as always, more to come. Stay tuned. Unfortunately. More to come. <laughs> <laughs>